Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. It's Wednesday, July 17th. We are looking at our swing trades here. So yesterday, if you saw the market action, uh, while it was slightly positive in the pre-market, you know, the market actually got shot down about 10 points on the S&P. And this is what I was uh, concerned about because if you look at the S&P charts, the last four days, and I've drawn these red lines here, uh, the market went up. However, it was going up on declining volume, which was telling me that there is no further upside demand, at least temporarily. I mean, we remain in a bullish condition. There's no question. You can see the custom RSI for everything remains in bullish. This is the Citigroup trade that we took and look at the Citigroup chart. Uh, very nice. It's, it remains in bullish. So we do remain in a bullish condition. However, I expect a little bit of consolidation here for a few days. And so what actually that would do is that would do wonders for all our short positions. You can see now Apple, the short position has developed 831 and there is still about a thousand dollars left. Now granted Apple is close to 205, but it's not quite there. Then Adobe, the short has developed really nicely and we've got a $1,500 profit there. However, we lost on the long call and this is what I was uh, concerned about. But no worries because we do have another expiry in between here. Even on this August 2nd expiry, we can do a debit spread. So Adobe is developing really well now. And this is one of the lessons here because we did roll this two times and both of it was for a loss. However, you can see the fruits of doing those adjustments because now the, uh, now the position is uh, developing very well. On Baidu, once again, it pulled back yesterday, and so the shorts have a profit. We still have a little bit. Of, we still have nine hundred and twenty dollars, and that can expire worthless as well. Citigroup, we opened this yesterday, and it went down along with the rest of the market. And so, if anybody has joined new, you can take this trade. You're going to get a better price. Uh, this is the thirtieth August, seventy-two point five call. Chipotle is moving in the right direction. However, it's developing slowly because we started off with a spread, but we're going to leave it as is. CRM is another trade that we took just a couple of days ago and so if you're new you can take this trade as well and for existing people who have the CRM trade I'm going to double down on this I think uh, it makes sense uh, we got in around 2.09 so now it's down about 30 percent and so I'm going to double down on CRM but if you're new you can certainly go in for this gold is still hanging out there yesterday it got beat down a little bit we'll just leave it as is because it's supposed to be some sort of a hedge also Netflix is going to expire this week and so we're just going to let it expire and we should break even or we should just make a small profit or so. Oracle, this was a small trade that we took and we only paid 28 cents for this option. It's gone down to 0 0.08. So I think it makes sense to double down. So if you have an existing trade on Oracle, we're going to double down on this. It's just another investment of about uh, 18, uh, 90 dollars and uh, you know, it'll give us a better chance to come back. We've got 30 days for this. So Oracle, if new users want to get in on Oracle, obviously don't get in on this because this is just going for eight cents. You would want to get in into the 60 call. It's the same expiry, 16th August, but you would want to get into the 60 call. The spider, once again, we are going to let this short expire and then we'll worry about it at that point. So that's it. There's no new trades. I'm expecting a little bit of a flattish kind of activity over the next couple of days for this week. And so we're going to let all our shorts expire and uh, we'll, uh, you know, we'll see what to do after that. And then that will be, we'll be able to close a lot of these trades and that will give us a little bit more flexibility. Let's just go to market watch and see we are still in a very bullish mode as you can see. So next week, once this consolidation pattern gets over, we can look at new trades. Uh, some of the trades that we have here are, uh, let's say Apple, we got Apple here. So you can see Apple is still bullish. The custom RSI is also showing bullish. Uh, then we have Chipotle. Chipotle is definitely bullish. There's no question. So, you know, that's also another trade that we have. Uh, Salesforce has gone into neutral since we entered the trade. As you can see, some of this price action obviously is causing it, but custom RSI still remains in bullish. So anyway, these are the trade updates for today. There's no new trade. New users can get into these three trades, Citigroup, CRM and Oracle. But if you're getting into Oracle, please get into the 60 call. Thank you.